This is Blaze's first time at the creek, and water is something that he can be very reactive about. When he stops using the thinking side of his brain and just relies on the reactive side of his brain, he can get a little bit upset. So in this video, you're going to see some approach and retreat, which we talked about before. And we're also going to talk about making the right thing easy, which is go in the water. Or I'm going to make the wrong thing hard, which is not go in the water, which is going to be get up here and work. So here I asked him to take one more step forward and he is not saying no, but heck no. So we're gonna come up here and we're gonna work. Now, you're gonna see him pull me around. He's gonna get, he's just all flustered here. He's gonna get really strong. He's gonna try to area, he's gonna try to get away from me. He wants to pull me over here by these horses. So he just went from being totally fine standing there to me asking him to take some steps forward to sort of loosen it a little bit. And that's totally fine. Wherever it is that he wants to go, wherever he wants to pull me and not do what I ask him to do, I'm going to follow him there. And when he sort of gets to a spot he likes, like here, he kind of he kind of stopped pulling on me. He, he thinks he feels safer up here. This is where I'm going to make the work really, really hard. So this is a, the example of I'm making the wrong thing hard. He's hiding that right shoulder. I'm using a left halter pressure, and the minute he goes left, I release the pressure. Once they get reactive, they'll go back to their old habits. Hiding his right shoulder is an old habit that he doesn't do anymore. But this creek brought that all back out. The pulling, all that kind of stuff. But now you're going to see that with an education, how quickly this resolves. It's important wherever they take you to go work, that you really, really work them. You want to hustle their feet. Say, I'm going to keep him in a canner this whole time. You want to get, uh, get them breathing hard, get a little sweaty. Say, this is where you want to be. And so this is what we're going to do. The horse always has an option. He can either be where he wants to be and working hard, or he can go where we want to go and the work can be very easy. Or sometimes it's no work at all. Sometimes it's just rest. So here I'm going to drive him back down by using the C pattern, which is like a half circle, yield hind quarters, we'll pull there. There we go, there we go, change direction. And we're gonna kinda do this the best we can. We're, we're in a, a bit of a narrow space. This isn't ideal, but it's totally fine. There's definitely enough room. It's just not a huge open space. And I'm gonna get down here close to this water again, and I'm gonna ask him again about taking some steps into the water. And this has been the method that's been used with Blaze is come forward off this halter pressure, or if I put pressure on his shoulder or on his hip. So there he goes, he, he went on forward there. And you come forward with me, and if you resist or get reactive or act really, really silly, then we're gonna have to put our feet to work. So you see here, he came forward a few steps really, really good, and he's facing the water. So I give him a little pause. We're going to retreat. I'm going to back up, up the hill in the mud. And I'm going to ask him to come forward again. And you're going to see he's going to go one step further this time. He actually even touches the water a little bit. Now he comes on around me, but he, come, he comes right back and faces it. He's not trying to drag me up the bank. So I give him another little pause. So I'm showing him here, this is where I want you to be. This is what I want you to do. We don't have to work hard if you just do what I say. I'm gonna ask you nicely, always. You know that, Blaze. I'm gonna retreat. Here we go. Gonna approach again and watch the water here. Got a splash, we got our feet in. Now he's sniffing it, he's checking it out. Timing here is crucial. So every time that horse gets closer to that water, even if it's just one step after each approach and retreat, you release the pressure and let him relax there. That's the only way they know that they're doing the right thing. If I got down here and worked him at this water or scared him at the water or put too much pressure on him at the water, he wouldn't figure out that that's where he's supposed to be or that water is the good place. And there we go, walking in a little bit more now. He says, oh, this tastes good. 
I like this. I'm going to stand there, let him drink for a second. We're going to have a little bit longer pause here. And then I'm going to take him back up uh, to the flat area and we're going to work again. So this time, the reason I'm taking him away and to work again is I'm just, I'm reinforcing that water's the good thing. I'm just going to lead him up the hill and go to the little grassy area and we're going to canter and trot a little bit. And then I'm going to lead him back down here. And I can't wait for you to see what happens next. Okay, it's time to start going back towards the water. So now I'm gonna try that driving C pattern again. And you can see now, this is gonna be much prettier. We've got a nice good arc, a good yield, change directions. Got confused, went back the right way. What a good boy. And he's gonna let me C pattern all the way down here. It's not perfect, but it's a thousand percent better than what we did the first time. Good Lord, that was a mess, wasn't it? This is the difference in a reactive brain and a thinking brain. But here comes the best part, guys. Are you ready? Go to water, Blaze. And just like that, look how bad he wants to be in that water. Less than 10 minutes, guys. We had a horse that didn't go in the water, but through weeks of exercises and getting this guy's respect and trust, he fully understands. Now that's cool. I get excited about this kind of stuff. This was an awesome day with Blaze. Really, really excited.